go. Hi, this is Simon Dyer from Clive Sutton International and here we are in the Philippines at Classic Speed. We'd like to show you our very latest demonstrator vehicle, this beautiful Ford Mustang GT500. Just want to have a walk around here with me. Just have a look at the close detail on the vehicle. 427 V8, fuel injected with a special ram pipe system on. We've had it painted in this beautiful black with the candy apple stripe. Incredibly eye-catching colour combination. We'd like to walk around here. Let's have a look at that fantastic interior. The detail on the instrumentation. Phantom gauges. Purse shifter on the gear lever. We've had it trimmed in this beautiful black leather with the red stitching. The boot. So we can have a look at the at the fuel cell. What we've done on this vehicle, rather than use the rather than use the traditional fuel tank. What we've had built in for safety reasons is a racing fuel cell. So we've basically still got the steel fuel tank, but within this, within this framework here, there's a neoprene protective tank. So if there is an impact on the rear and the rear end is squashed, then you're going to be perfectly safe. Where we are at the moment, at Classic Speed, we're actually based, based on Clark Field, the original US Air Force Base, which is a free port. So what we're going to do now, we're going to jump in the car, we're going to go out for a drive, and let you see what it's like on the road, and certainly let you hear it. circuit very close to Classic Speed's factory. I'm delighted today to get into our first car, the GT500. So what we're going to do, we're going to get George in the back of the car and we're just going to go for a very quick drive around the track and give you some feedback on how the car feels. Okay George, let's go. So here we are at the speedway, we're going to fire it up. We're going to do a, just a, a fairly slow lap just to get a feel of the car. So what we've had fitted to the Mustang is actually a lower profile cam. We didn't want a car that was going to give too much rocking when it was sort of stationary. So we've had a, a lower profile cam fitted and by the sound of it, uh, the engine is a lot smoother. Uh, we've got a tremendous amount of torque coming from this car. So let's see what she's like. Beautifully smooth clutch. to the end of the straight, do a couple of turns, see what she's like on turning. We can't go too mad today because the circuit's officially closed, so uh, we'll take it pretty steady. It feels absolutely beautiful, it feels very soft to drive. To say it's got such a powerful engine in it, uh, it feels like it's delivering the power very, very carefully. So we're running a six-speed gearbox on this uh, on this engine. I'm not sure when we're going to get into sixth gear in London, but uh, we'll, we'll give it a go. So we're coming up to turn one. The turning feels very positive, very sharp. The steering doesn't feel vague at all. You know, one degree a turn and you're, she's turning in. She, it feels really beautiful. Hey, 
you doing in the back, George? Fantastic. Nothing to hold on to, Simon, so I'm pleased that you're just cruising around like you are. I can't help noticing, you know, you're in sixth gear only doing 12, 1400 it's revs. Incredible. It's, yeah. Well, that's second. Into third. Into fourth. Still pulling beautifully. Speedo's not calibrated at the moment. We're probably doing about 40 miles an hour. That's fifth. Into sixth. And she's still pulling like a train. Great benefits to having that low down torque there, George. Yeah, that's no, really, uh, really worked that, that new cam, hasn't it? braking system. Nice, you've got this huge engine and all this power, but you can still talk quite easily in the cabin. It's, it's very comfortable, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got the side pipes connected as well. We've got the windows open. Um, it's not so unpleasant to drive. Well, for a first drive out the factory, George, I think that's really good. Tell the uh, the quality checks have been done on the car already because you know if you car comes out of any factory, especially a bespoke car, often the steering is going to be quite vague or something's clattering or banging. But this feels like as though it's really been you know for the production process it's really been done properly. Well, that's wonderful. As you know, we, we put a few hundred miles on the cars before their ships after this assignment just to, to shake out any little things that might. Uh, yeah, might yeah. Crop up. Coming into the final few turns now. So tempting to use all of that 500 plus horsepower. <laughs> You'll give me some warning, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> Should we give that quick burst down the last straight, Jack? I really think you should, I really do. Okay, we're coming into the last turn. And uh, we're gonna go back into the uh, into the pit area now, but I'll just give it a quick blast. You're hanging on there, George. I'm hanging on. Okay, here we go. Air's going up on the back of your neck. What a fantastic car. Thanks a lot, George. Oh, it's been our pleasure as always, Simon.